For Coca-Cola, we were sitting on a collection of over 6,000 tapes, and we knew it was a ticking time bomb. We have a 130-year history, and these videotapes represent the greatest thoughts within marketing for Coca-Cola, the greatest thoughts within technical for Coca-Cola. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. In particular for brands like Coca-Cola that are these legacy brands that have impacted not only everyone in this country, but everyone across the globe. You've got to save the tapes. You can't let that content go. I mean, Coke's had an impact in particular that has really reached everyone on the planet. And we have to capture this history now because the tapes are disintegrating. If I don't act, this heritage will just go away. It will disappear. The challenges with videotape is it's an impermanent medium. A life expectancy of a videotape is approximately 20 years. So anything older than 20 years, you're already on borrowed time. The content for me is really the most important thing about what we provide. The content that comes through these doors is everything from oral histories from Holocaust survivors to the torch run, you know, the Olympic torch run. There are two factors that really play into this race against time. One is just the formats degrading. It's essentially a piece of plastic that's had some uh, magnetic substance attached to it. The magnetic substance and the tape essentially want to split apart as soon as they can. You have to overcome the media itself. They do it with a variety of ways. They bake the tapes to re-adhere it. They clean the heads constantly. And they have to really, in a way, be magicians with the impermanent media. The other factor is this notion of obsolescence. We're already looking at certain formats that probably within the next five years we will not be able to find parts to fix. In order to preserve that content, you need to migrate your media. One of the most interesting tapes in the collection is the announcement of the return of Classic Coke. And Don Keogh stands up saying the Coca-Cola company screwed up, here's your Classic Coke back. In April we changed Coca-Cola and that upset many of our loyal Coca-Cola drinkers. They told us they were upset and we listened. We're bringing back the classic original formula as Coca-Cola Classic. If we don't act now, that speech will be lost and it can't be lost, it's too good. As a company, we wanted to act now and as a consumer, if somebody at home, I'd pull out my wedding tape and look at it, and if it's not good, I'd look for a specialist in my area to go ahead and capture my memories, my images, because that's what's being lost, are the memories and the, the deep, rich heritage of the Coca-Cola company or of your personal memory. It can all be lost if you don't act.